Hello, friends and family of YouTube. Today, I have a Jayco 175RD. It is a small couples unit. It's a rear dinette model. Man, this thing is pretty cool. Y'all gonna love this. And I am over at Rocket RV. Look at all these people trying to get in here just to buy a good deal today. <laughs> anyway, there's a lot of traffic out here, so may, we might have some uh, road noise. But uh, anyway, this place is uh, the local Jayco dealer right outside of Decatur, Alabama. Uh, not too far from Huntsville as well. So you are going to hear a little bit of traffic noise today. But uh, hey, uh, tell you what, I'm digging this little, uh, little unit I'm about to show you here. So I'm sure you all will too. So let's check it out. Well, you notice from the back here, we do have a spare tire. It's mounted onto the uh, rear bumper. This does come with uh, corner jacks here on the back. And right here is where your uh, your tank dump hooks up for your, uh, for your sewer. And right here, you do have a 30 amp uh, electrical connection. Now, the thing I like about Jayco is these come from the factory with Goodyear tires. So it's got a set of 14 inch tires on here. Also outside here, you've got a, where you can hook your uh, satellite cable uh, hook up. You've also got your uh, fresh water hook up as well as your uh, city water. You've got enough room here. You can put you uh, two propane, uh, I'm sorry, two batteries on here, but you've only got one propane tank. And to be honest with you, that is, that's well enough. This, uh, this trailer's about the size of the one that I have, but, uh, Man, I tell you what, these bottles last me for months. And coming around the side here, you've got a little bit of storage that goes right under the bed. And we'll show you the side here. I've also got an electrical outlet here. This has got uh, where you can plug in a TV or something outside here as well. Got a little bit of storage over here also. I didn't even notice that till just now. So again, there you go. And of course, this does have a uh, have an awning set out here. All right, so let's go inside here and see what we got going on. Again, this is a 175RD. Okay, I am standing right in the doorway, and as you can see, right here is the bed. And uh, the bed goes all the way across. Now, if you'll notice on a lot of the smaller RVs, this bed usually will not go all the way across. Usually there's something on one end or the other. And that's uh, kind of keeps you from having a bigger size bed. Like on my, my particular RV, there is a, there's a cabinet that's built inside there. And that's where the water heater and that sort of thing is from behind. So I like the Jayco did give you enough room for a bigger bed and they've also given you plenty of storage that is about 20 to 24 inches deep to the back of there and they also uh, got some good looking cabinetry let me see if this is pocket yep that is pocket screwed back here so uh, what that means is when they uh, built these cabinets they drilled a hole back here it's got pocket screws screws go down into here and the good of that is is it's a lot better than just gluing staples so this cabinetry is well made so Jayco's been around since 1968 and uh, I'm not gonna talk a lot about the year 1968 but I will say that that was a great year and a lot of great things were born and started in the year of 1968 I'm not saying that that's the year that I was born but it could be anyway you've got a little bit of storage down below here as well and again i am right by the bed so uh man that's a great place for you to store some clothing or or whatever else you might need to and i'll now show you the kitchen area and again that is right uh starts right beside the uh entry exit door there and i'll uh, show you the refrigerator size this is a uh, one of the smaller size about like uh like you would find in maybe a dorm size and it's also got a little freezer in there as well that's the exact same model that i have and uh, i've uh, shown some videos on tips and tricks to uh, kind of help you keep that a little cooler so if you haven't seen those videos you might want to check them out 
And uh, right here, that is your heater. That's a heat furnace. And as you can see, it's got a, a two burner cooktop, got a fairly decent size uh, sink here. You can tell by the size of my hand, it would hold about four hands in here and it's about five inches deep. But the good that I do like here is that they did give you plenty of countertop space to put you some blenders or if you need to chop up some vegetables or your food or whatever. I'll go ahead and show you the price while we're here. So, uh, yeah, 13 grand. So they've knocked off right at, what is that, uh, seven grand? So, man, yeah. And uh, up here above here, you've got, uh, this is your light switches. Your uh, awning is actually on electric. How about that? And of course, this is your panel to see how much uh, water you have in the holding tank, your black and the gray tank. And uh, it's got an electrical outlet here as well, so you can use a blender or whatever you might need to. And right above that, you've got a cabinet storage. And this is about probably 14 inches deep. And I'll show you the microwave. And the microwave is just a smaller unit, but uh, should be able to get the job done. And there's probably somewhere in here a glass little piece that sits up on top of that. Usually they will take them out during transit so that they do not get broken. All right, so uh, there's the rest of your kitchen. Let me show you the dining room area. And some of you seasoned pros that have been watching my channel for a while, and when you heard me say that this was a RD, you probably knew right away this was a rear dinette. And I generally do like rear dinette layouts, and I like this one because it does have fairly large windows going along the back side here to uh, kind of give you a good view. And the reason I like that is if you were parked in a, uh, a nice park area, say you had a lake or something back there, it would be real nice to sit and be able to have, uh, have your morning breakfast right here, morning coffee or whatever, and be able to have a, a good view uh, out the back. So also they do have a, uh, got a storage center here where you can put you some DVDs or whatever in that little cabinet. It's about six to eight inches uh, in depth. And uh, right here in this corner is where you would mount your TV. And uh, I don't believe I talked about it, but I need to point out that the air conditioner is in the ceiling. I have seen some, uh, some models before of different uh, manufacturers that did not put the air conditioner in the ceiling, they would mount it in the wall. And I do prefer the ceiling mount. And uh, it's a long story, but trust me, it is a better way to go. Let me show you the storage inside of here. You got about another 12, 14 inches deep in there as well, right over the dinette. All right, so let me show you the bathroom. And I've talked about this before. I don't know why it is, but most manufacturers will not give you something to put toilet paper on. So kudos to Jayco. Man, yeah. Nothing worse than getting in the bathroom and uh, discovering you don't have any toilet paper. But uh, anyway, you can see that they've got plenty of storage down below the, uh, right beside the, uh, the toilet there. You can store some clothes in there or towels or... Uh, Maybe even some of your beach type stuff since this would be in the bathroom. And uh, let you see what's going on with the, the shower here. This is a small tub, tub shower combo. I guess this is probably about three foot across here. So, uh, you know, you could wash a kid or a dog or whatever you need to in here. And as you can see, it does have a curtain. So that's what goes in there to keep you, uh, keep your water kind of in one area. Now I will say that I am 6'1", and the ceiling height of this particular unit is a little bit on the lower side, but I do still have about uh, an inch above my head. But when I would take a shower, I would need to crouch down just a little bit. So uh, if you're shorter than 6'1", you're okay. If you are 6'1", you'll uh, just have to crouch in the shower. And also in the bathroom, they do have a vent above where you can open this vent. It does not have a fan in there, but there is a vent to uh, let out some steam while you take your shower. And I'll try to give you a little bit of the layout of the land. I am at the very front of the RV. Matter of fact, I am sitting on the bed. So uh, looking towards the back of the, uh, the trailer here. And uh, I don't believe I talked about uh, some of the lighting in here. Also got a smoke detector, of course, up here in the ceiling, and there's also stereo speakers built in as well. So uh, yeah, the layout of this uh, RV is very functional, and uh, 
pretty pretty small lightweight camper you should be able to pull this with just about anything that you can put a tow hitch on And as I said earlier, I'm over at Rocket RV, which is uh, just outside of Decatur and not too far from Huntsville either. So, uh, hey, go on their website, check out their inventory, and uh, see if they got something else you might be interested in. Call them, check, see, uh, see what they got going on today. Folks, I appreciate y'all spending some time with me. Hope to see y'all real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.